Hi everyone, this is Eric Guzman and welcome to my YouTube channel. Our lesson for today's video is about the fundamental identities of trigonometry. So in this video, we will enumerate all the formulas and apply those identities to different types of problems. But before we start the video, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the button and subscribe because every week I upload different full lecture videos. So for today's video, let's begin. An identity is an equation that is true for all acceptable replacements for the variable. So, meron tayong apat na fundamental trigonometric identities or yung tinatawag natin as the basic trigonometric identities. So, number one, we have the reciprocal identities. Number two, the quotient identities. Number three, Pythagorean identities. And number four, finally, we have the even odd identity. We can use these fundamental identities to find the values of other trigonometric functions using another given values of trigonometric function. In some math problems, we can use these fundamental identities to simplify long and complicated trigonometric equations. Let's enumerate all the formulas. For reciprocal identities, we have three. Cosecant theta is equal to one over sine theta. Second theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta. And third, cotangent theta is equal to 1 over tangent theta. Now, if you can remember, itong tatlo na to is natakal na natin or napadaanan na natin from the previous lesson of the trigonometric function. Ginagamitin natin siya when, so when solving sides of a triangle or the values of the trigonometric function. For the second identity, the quotient identity, we have two formulas. Tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. And the reverse of the tangent theta, we have the cotangent theta. So, babalik ta rin lang din natin yung kanyang identity. We have cosine theta is equal to sine theta. Third, we have the Pythagorean identities. So, meron tayong tatlo for the Pythagorean identities. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Tangent squared theta plus 1 is equal to second squared theta. And for our last, for the Pythagorean identity, we have the cotangent squared theta plus 1 is equal to cosecant squared theta. And finally, for the last fundamental trigonometric identity, we have what we call the even odd identities. Given sine negative theta, it is equal to sine theta. Cosine negative theta is equal to cosine theta. Tangent negative theta is equal to negative tangent theta. Cosecant negative theta is equal to negative cosecant theta and second to the last, second, theta, second negative theta is equal to second theta and we have finally cotangent negative theta is equal to negative cotangent theta. Itong identities na to should not be just memorized. Dapat alam natin ito as we know our names kasi ganun siya kaimportante for the trigonometry na subject natin. Para mas maintindihan natin, let's take 10 sample problems. For example, number one, we have the problem using reciprocal identities. If cosine theta is equal to 1 over 3 or simply 1 third, determine the second theta. Now, paano natin determine yan? Using the, using the reciprocal identity, we have um, cosine theta is equal to 1 over second theta. And cosine theta is equal to 1 over second theta. Ang given sa atin is cosine theta. Ang hinahanap sa atin is the second theta. So, paano natin niya nahanapin? Now, uh, by algebra, we cross multiply. This now second theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta. Ang given sa atin na value for cosine theta is 1 third. Now, substitute natin dito. Second theta is equal to 1 over 1 third. Now, paano natin isasolve ngayon yan? Paano natin isisimplify? So, second theta now, pwede natin isimplify to as, kasi itong 1 na to, meron din siyang denominator na hidden na 1. So, this is 1 over 1 over 1 third. And then, ang gagawin natin, kuhain natin reciprocal nito, and then, i-multiply natin sa numerator. Ganon sa algebra. Now, we have second theta is equal to 1 over 1, ito yun, times the reciprocal nito, lalagay natin dito, we have 3 over 1. Now, cancel ito, cancel, so we have 3 over 1, 
Lagay na natin dito. Second theta is equal to 3 over 1. Or simply, the final answer for second theta is equal to 3 na lang. And this is the value for the second theta. Ginamit natin yung reciprocal identity. We have given a value of the function cosine theta. For example, number 2. Problem. Using again reciprocal identities. If the sine theta is equal to uh, square root of 3 over 3, determine the cosecant theta. Okay. Ang hinahanap natin is the cosecant theta. And we have an identity, reciprocal identity na sine theta is equal to 1 over cosecant theta. So, same lang din sa kanina. Ang hinahanap kasi natin dito is the cosecant theta. Now, we cross multiply ulit. Cosecant theta is equal to 1 over sine theta. And we have the value for the trigonometric function sine theta na square root of 3 over 3. So, we substitute. Cosecant theta is equal to 1 over square root of 3 over 3. And then, uh, by simplifying, we have cosecant theta is equal to 1 over 1. Neto yun, yung over 1 na dito, times the reciprocal neto. So, we have 3 over square root of 3. And simplify ulit natin, we have cosecant theta is equal to 3 over square root of 3. And of course, we have a radical on the denominator. So, we have to rationalize it. We multiply the numerator and the, and the denominator by square root of 3. Square root of 3. And then, cosecant theta is equal to 3 times, ito, we have 3 square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 is simply 3 na lang po siya. Kasi, makakancel yung kanyang ito pag pinagmultiply natin sila pareho. Now, Pwede pa natin i-simplify ito. We can cancel the 3 here and the 3 here. And finally, for cosecant theta, our final answer is equal to square root of 3. So that's example number 2. Example number 3. Using reciprocal identities. Again, reciprocal identities. If tangent theta is equal to B, we don't have any numerical value. Ang bigay sa atin is letter B lang. Tangent theta is equal to B, determine the cotangent theta. O, paano yan? We have the reciprocal identity tangent theta is equal to 1 over cotangent theta. Kasi, uh, from the previous lesson nga natin, nabanggit na natin na tangent theta, ang reciprocal niya ay cotangent theta. So, ito po yan. But, we have given the value of the tangent theta as the letter B. And, ang inahanap natin is the cotangent theta. So, we cross multiply ulit. Cotangent theta is equal to 1 over tangent theta. And, ang tangent theta natin is equal to B. So, we substitute the value. Cotangent theta is equal to 1 over B. So, meaning, ito na po ang ating sagot kasi we cannot simplify anymore itong value na to. So, ito na po ang value ng cotangent theta. Now, remember that itong B na yan is not equal to 0. So, may value po yan. Not equal to 0. So, that's example number 3. Fourth example, example number 4, using quotient identities. So, we are on the quotient identities naman. Using quotient identities, if yung sine theta natin is equal to 2 thirds or 2 over 3, and another given trigonometric function value, we have cosine theta, ang value is negative 3 over 4, we are asked to determine the value of the tangent theta and the cotangent theta. Okay. So, for tangent theta, muna tayo. Tangent theta... By quotient identity, meron tayong formula for tangent theta as the sine theta over cosine theta. And meron tayong given na 
exact numerical value for sine theta and the cosine theta. Ito po yan. Itong dalawa na yan. So, ang gagawin natin, we substitute. To find the numerical value of the tangent theta natin. For tangent theta, is equal to sine theta value, we have 2 thirds over negative 3 fourths. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, uh, simplify algebraically. We have tangent theta is equal to 2 thirds and multiply natin sa reciprocal nito, we have negative 4 over 3. So, we multiply tangent theta is equal to 2 times 4 is equal to 8 and 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Negative. Negative po yan. Hindi na natin masisimplify yung ating tangent theta kasi this is now the simplest form. So, ang final answer natin for the tangent theta is equal to negative 8 over 9. And then, may isa pa tayong require, required yung cotangent theta. For cotangent theta naman, uh, pwede na lang natin gamitin yung reciprocal identity na tangent theta is equal to 1 over cotangent theta kasi may value naman na tayo nito. But, since nasa quotient identity tayo, let's apply the quotient identity. Eh, yun lang din naman yun. For cotangent theta, babalik rin lang natin ito. Cosine theta over sine theta. Now, cotangent theta is equal to the value of cosine theta na negative 3 over 4. And for sine theta, we have 2 over 3. And then, we simplify cotangent theta is equal to negative 3 over 4 times 3 halves. So, simplify again. We have cotangent theta is equal to negative 3 times 3. We have negative 9 and then 4 times 2. We have positive 8. So, this is the value of the cotangent theta. Reciprocal lang ng tangent theta natin. So, that's example number 4. For example number 5, problem Using the fundamental identities, if tangent theta is equal to negative 3 over 2, and yung theta natin is in quadrant 2, determine the second theta. Okay, meron tayong dalawang condition. Yung unang condition, given the value of the tangent theta, we have negative 3 over 2. Pangalawang condition, yung theta down natin from the tangent theta is in quadrant 2. So, magkakaroon niya ng effect later sa answer natin. Dalawang function ang binigay sa atin from the problem. May nakita na yung tangent theta and the second theta. To solve for the value of the second theta, we use the fundamental identity na parehong nandun yung tangent theta at saka yung second theta. So, anong identity yun? By Pythagorean identity. By Pythagorean identity, meron tayong formula na Tangent square theta plus 1 is equal to second square theta. Ayan, meron tayong tangent theta and meron tayong, this is 2, meron tayong second square theta. And of course, dahil may, alam na natin formula, we substitute the value now of the tangent theta na negative 3 over 2. So this is, naka square po siya, quantity of negative 3 over 2 square plus 1 is equal to second square theta. Ang inahanap natin is hindi second square theta but the value of second theta lang. So, we simplify uh, negative 3 halves quantity square. So, pag pinag-multiply natin yan, negative 3 halves times negative 3 halves, magiging positive na siya. And then, we have 3 square is 9. 2 square is 4 plus 1 is equal to second square theta. Now, ito kasi, baka malito kayo, ito lang yan, negative 3 halves times negative 3 halves. So, magiging positive. Then, 3 times 3, 9. 2 times 2 is 4. We simplify ulit. 9 over 4 plus 1. So, paano ang ginagawa kapag i-add natin yung fraction sa whole number? We get the least common denominator. At ang kanilang LCD is number 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 9 is 9. 4 divided by 
1 may hidden na 1 dyan is 4 times 1 is 4. So, this is 4 is equal to second square theta. And then, we simplify 9 plus 4 is 13 over 4 is equal to second square theta. So, ang gagawin na natin is we get rid of this square. Paano yun? Square root natin magkabilang side of the equation. And, and, ayan. So, pagpalitin na natin, we have second theta is equal to square root of 13, siya na yan. Square root of 13 and square root of 4 is simply 2 na lang. Kasi ganito ang mangyari dyan. Yan na equal ito is equal sa 13 over square root of 4 and ito na po siya. Meron tayong isang condition. Yung theta daw natin is in quadrant 2. Kapag in square root natin ito, dalaway lalabas dyan. Hindi lang itong positive. This is positive. Now, may isa pang lalabas. Yung negative square root of 13 over 2. So, yan yung isang lalabas kasi dalawa yan. Pag ito, in square mo yun pareho, ito lalabas. Pag ito, in square mo rin siya ng buo, ito rin lalabas. So, dalawa silang root. Since yung theta natin is in quadrant 2, ibig sabihin nasa negative side siya. Ang kukunin natin ang value ng second theta ay yung negative square root of 13 over 2. Dahil siya, yung theta niya ay nasa quadrant 2. So, yun yung effect nung condition na ito. So, second theta is equal to negative square root of 13 over 2. So, ito na po ang ating final answer for problem number 5. Next, example number 6. For example number 6, um, same problem lang din siya. Same problem and same condition from example number 5. But this time, ang inahanap naman sa atin is the value of the sin theta trigonometric function. Kanina, second theta. So, ang ginawa natin kanina from previous problem number 5, uh, we relate the tangent theta at saka second theta into one equation or one formula na, magagaling sa, na nanggaling sa Pythagorean identity natin and nasolve natin yung second theta. But this time, ang i-relate naman natin into one formula sa tangent theta, ito, and yung sine theta. So, by quotient identity, yan, identity, so, tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. But, tatagdagan tayo ng isang unknown. Ito yung cosine theta. Ang hinahanap natin ni sine theta, so, ang gawin natin, we cross multiply muna para matira yung hinahanap natin na sine theta. We have cosine theta, tangent theta, is equal to sine theta. We do not know the value of cosine theta. So, paano gagawin natin? Pero, kanina, sa previous problem, sa problem number 5 natin, meron tayo na kung value na second theta. By reciprocal identity, itong cosine theta natin is equal to 1 over second theta. So, equal sa dito. Now, pwede natin gamitin ito since alam natin yung value ng second theta natin to solve for the sine theta. Okay, so gawin natin equation. We have value of cosine theta na or equivalent ng cosine theta na say 1 over second theta times tangent theta is equal to sine theta. So, alam na natin yung value nito and alam na natin yung value nito. We can now substitute Dito natin lagay, we have 1 over, ang value na second theta natin kanina is equal to negative square root of 13 over 2. Negative square root of 13 over 2. And ang value ng tangent theta natin, we have negative 3 over 2 is equal to the unknown sine theta. So, paano gagawin natin dyan? We simplify. So, ito. Um, i-reverse natin itong part na ito, we have negative 2 square root of 13 times yung value ng negative 3 
over 2 is equal to sine theta. So, negative, tem te negative times negative is positive na and 2 makakancel dahil parehong numerator and denominator. So, mangyari dyan, we have 3 over square root of 13 is equal to sine theta. Pero, hindi pa tayo tapos kasi we need to rationalize the denominator. Hindi natin lagay. 3 over square root of 13 times square root of 13 sa numerator over square root of 13 sa denominator. So, simplifying, 3 times square root of 13, ito siya, 3 times square root of 13, dahil di naman, di naman tayo makakuha ng another simplified value dyan, and over the denominator of square root of 13 times square root of 13 is simply 13 na lang. So, ito na po ang ating value ng sine theta. Example number 7. Example number 7, again, from previous problems na 5 and 6, we have the same problem and the same conditions, the same given. But, ang inahanap naman this time is the value of cotangent negative theta. Okay? So, we have tangent theta na negative 3 over 2 and theta is in quadrant 2. Determine the cotangent negative theta. For problem number 7, um, again, we relate the two given trigonometric functions into one formula. Kahanap tayo dun sa fundamental identities natin. And meron tayo na by reciprocal identity, we have tangent theta is equal to uh, 1 over cotangent theta. Ayan. Pero ang inaarap natin is cotangent theta. So, we cross, we cross multiply. Cotangent theta is equal to 1 over tangent theta. Pwede na sana natin mahanap yung value ng cotangent theta natin. Kaya lang, ang inahanap natin is ito. Meron negative yung theta. Cotangent negative theta ang inahanap po natin. So, we use the even odd identity. By even odd identity, Yung cotangent negative theta natin ay i-convert natin siya into cotangent negative theta is equal to 1 over pati yung tangent theta natin i-convert natin using the even odd identity. And the value is tangent negative theta n na po siya. So, we simplify by even, by even odd identity itong tangent negative theta na yan ay equivalent sa Negative tangent theta. Parang nilabas lang natin negative. So, by even at identity yun. So, lipat na natin equation. We have cotangent negative theta is equal to 1 over, ito na ang gagamitin natin. We converted it using the even at identity. We have now negative tangent theta. Pwede na natin ma-solve yung value ng cotangent negative theta. So, substitute na natin yung value ng tangent theta ng negative 3 over 2. For cotangent negative theta, we have 1 over negative and the value of the tangent theta, we have negative 3 over 2. So, next, simplify ulit. We have cotangent negative theta is equal to 1 over positive na to. Negative times negative, we have positive 3 over 2 and simplify ulit cotangent negative theta is equal to 1 over 1 may 1 pa yan times the reciprocal neto we have 2 over 3 so finally we have the value cotangent negative theta is equal to 2 over 3 so ayan ang ating value ng cotangent negative theta for the example number 7 and next, we have example number 8. For example number 8, simplify the trigonometric expression. So, in this problem, hindi tayo maghanap ng value, but we are just going to simplify a long trigonometric expression. Ang given trigonometric expression is the cotangent theta times cosine theta plus sine theta. Isisimplify natin yung trigonometric equation or expression na yan into one single term. So, Sulat natin, cotangent theta 
cos sine theta plus sine theta. So, paano natin yan i-convert into one single term? So, of course, we use the basic trigonometric identities or the fundamental identities. By, ito muna, ang gawin natin. So, by quotient identities, tulad, ayan, by quotient identities, cotangent theta is equal to, lagyan na natin dito, cosine theta over sine theta. So, ayan, ayan. And then, we multiply to cosine theta plus sine theta. So, we apply the quotient identity formula. And now, simplify cosine theta times cosine theta is equal to cosine squared theta over sine theta plus sine theta. So, hindi pa tayo tapos kasi pag add pa natin yan. And how can we add it? Parang fraction lang and adding to whole number, kuhanin natin least common denominator nila. And of course, obviously, ang least common denominator nitong dalawa na to, we have the sine theta. So, sine theta divided by sine theta is 1 times cosine square theta is cosine square theta. Plus, sine theta divided by 1 is sine theta multiplied to sine theta is equal to sine square theta theta. So, ayan na po siya. But, hindi pa ito yung final answer natin. So, kung mapapansin natin ito, by Pythagorean identity. By Pythagorean identity, ang magiging value na ito is equal to 1 na lang. Kasi by Pythagorean identity, we have cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1 over the value nito is sine theta. And again, um, we can still simplify it into one single term by reciprocal identity. Yung 1 over sine theta natin is directly equal to cosecant theta. So, ito na po ang ating final answer dito sa malaking expression na ito. So, cosine, a cotangent theta times cosine theta plus sine theta is equal to cosecant theta. So, that's example number 8. That's, what, that's how we simplify. Gagamitin natin or i-utilize natin yung iba't ibang fundamental identities natin to simplify a complicated expression or a trigonometric equation. Example number 9. For example number 9, again, we need to simplify again a given trigonometric expression. So, simplify the trigonometric expression 1 over cosine squared theta minus 1 into a single term. So, we rewrite 1 over cosine squared theta minus 1. Now, pagtapansin natin dito, isang trigonometric function lang ang Binigay sa atin, wala tayong ibang function na pwedeng pagsamahin para malaman natin na mayroong pang ibang identity for that. Now, cosine squared theta by reciprocal identity. Yung cosine, yung cosine theta kasi natin, as we know, cosine theta is equal to the reciprocal, yung kanyang 1 over second theta. And of course, ito kasi is naka-square. So, pag i-square natin ito, square lang din ang gagawin natin doon sa kanyang reciprocal identity. Now, i-rewrite na natin ulit equation. We have equals to 1 over, ang ilagay na natin ngayon na value is ito na. 1 over second square theta minus 1. And then, we simplify yun natin lagay, we have 1 over 1, meron tayong hidden na 1 dito, times the reciprocal nito, second square theta over 1. Ayan siya, minus 1. So again, simplify, this cancel, cancel, matitira, we have second square theta over 1 minus 1, but pwede na natin hindi ilagay ito. 
So, this is second square theta minus 1 na lang. The condition, i-simplify natin yung given na trigonometric expression or yung trigonometric equation into one single term only. Eh, meron tayong dalawa dito. We have 1, 2. By Pythagorean identity. Ito, yung second square theta natin is equal to tangent square theta. By Pythagorean identity, yung mga formula ang ibinigay natin kanina sa una. So, meaning, ito is directly equal to tangent square theta na lang. So, this is the answer for example number 9. And for last example, example number 10. Again, we are going to simplify a trigonometric expression. And the trigonometric expression is given, we have 1 plus cotangent square theta over 1 minus cosecant square theta. Is simplify natin into a single term. So, we rewrite the equation. 1 plus cotangent square theta over 1 minus cosecant square theta. Theta. So, paano ang gagawin dyan? We use the fundamental identities. Gamitan natin ito ng identity and ito din. So, we know by quotient identity, by quotient identity, cotangent theta is equal to cosine theta over sine theta. And para dito naman, Ang uh, gagamitin natin is a reciprocal identity na lang. So, by reciprocal identity, cosecant theta is equal to 1 over sine theta. So, ito ngayon ang isasubstitute natin dito sa given trigonometric expression natin para mas masimplify pa natin. So, let's substitute. We have 1 plus cosine theta over sine theta quantity squared. Dahil naka-square kasi siya. So, ito naman. Dahil naka-square ito, squared din to. Over 1 minus 1 over sine theta quantity squared. So, i-distribute natin yung square niya. We have 1 plus cosine squared theta over sine squared theta all over 1 minus so 1 squared simply 1 lang then 1 over sine squared theta so and then we simplify again paano natin may simplify we simplify first the, num the numerator at saka yung denominator at saka isang buo sila for the numerator dito natin lagay um, kunin natin yung least common denominator and obviously the LCD is eto sine squared theta so sine squared theta divided by 1 is sine squared theta times 1 is sine squared theta yan and sine squared theta divided by sine squared theta is 1 times cosine squared theta cosine squared theta ang answer so this is cosine squared theta. All over, ganun lang din ang kanyang LCD, we have sine squared theta divided by 1 times 1, sine squared theta lang din. Sine squared theta divided by sine squared theta is 1 times 1, 1 lang din. And this is negative. Ayan siya, this is negative. Simplify pa natin. So, ang mangyari dito, Kuhin natin reciprocal nito at saka natin i-multiply sa numerator para ma-simplify. We have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta over sine squared theta times sine squared theta over sine squared theta minus 1. So, ayan na siya. Then, next na gagawin natin, we cancel. Kung ano yung pwedeng i-cancel. So, magkamukha yung sine squared theta at saka ito. So, cancel na po yan kasi equal to 1 lang yan. And then, sulat natin dito, we have sine 
squared theta, ito yan, yung natira, plus cosine squared theta over, ito siya, sine squared theta minus 1. So, hindi pa po tapos kasi isi-simplify natin yung trigonometric expression na yan into one single term only. But Pythagorean identity, Yan, by Pythagorean identity, yung sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta natin is directly equal to 1 na yan. And then, yung ating sine squared theta minus 1, so paano yan? Magagaling lang din tayo dito sa val sa identity na to. Itong sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Since ito, eh directly 1 na. Kailangan natin hanapin yung sine squared theta minus 1 nito. So, using this identity, pag inilipat natin ito dito, magiging sine squared theta minus 1, and then ilipat natin ito sa kabila, magiging negative cosine squared theta. So, ito na siya. Ayan na yan. Pwede na natin substitute ito ngayon. O, ilagay na natin, we have 1, as a substitution dito, and we have cos at negative, cos and square theta as a substitute, substitution dito. So, ito na po yan. But, again, it is not finished yet. Hindi pa siya simplified kasi one single term dapat. So, ano ang magiging equivalent value niyan? By reciprocal identity, yung 1 over cos and theta natin is directly equal sa second theta. Ito. But, since it's negative siya, this is negative, and naka-square yung ating cosine theta, this is second square theta. So, ito ngayon, ang final answer na natin is equal to negative second square theta. So, this is our final answer for example number 10 by simplifying a trigonometric expression using a fundamental using the fundamental identities so that's example number 10 and that's all for today's video guys for the next tutorial we will continue the application of the trigonometric identities so please like and share thank you for watching and see you on the next video